What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cherry back again with another video. Today, we're gonna do a Who Would You Rather Have between Tony Parker and Rajon Rondo. Let's get into it. So, these two players are very interesting because both of these players have some similarities. Both wasn't really attempting threes like that. Both got drafted into good situations. In Rondo's case, he got drafted into a situation that was, like, very, like, bad to start out. But in his second season, he had to grow up real fast. He had to play with the big three Celtics and KG, Pierce, and Ray Allen. Um, His game had to mature fast. Doc was really relying on him to get these, uh, you know, get these plays through. Um, basically, he had to become the coach of the floor, which he did a very good job in doing, and ended up winning the 2008 championship. And that connection between him and uh, Ray Allen, that that ultimately killed the Lakers. And the Lakers really didn't have an answer to it, and they got blown out in the last game of the series. So that should tell you all you need to know about how the team was gelling with Rondo, Ray, Pierce and KG. And with Tony Parker case, he got drafted into a situation where they already had the big fundamental in Tim Duncan. And they had like an agent, David Robinson, who was still effective, but wasn't where he once was, right? Um, Tony Parker, he was he was one of the main focus, focal points on the team. He ended up extending the Spurs run like, as the Spurs was getting older, Tony Parker, Mario Ginobili, they was able to extend the run. Then when they got young nucleus piece and Kawhi Leonard, they was definitely able to extend the run past, like, like two or three years before it actually ended. So, just put that in perspective. We'll compare it to. Okay, so, let's do Rondo. Now, Rondo, in Rondo's case, like I said, both him and Tony Parker, it was a three-point shoot thirds. Now, what Rondo would do, right, he would leverage the defense going under his screens. He would leverage that into, like, a better opportunity for somebody else. Like, Rondo was definitely good at that, especially him turning the corner. He could drive and kick out the right Allen. He would, like, fake a shot and try to find, like, KG, Brandon Bass, or somebody of the sorts. Um, Rondo was not willing to take the mid-range jump, jump shot even, and, but he was attempted. It was like, oh, okay, but ultimately, the Celtics, like, they needed some type of shot create juice. Like, he tried to provide that later on in his career with the Celtics in 2012, but it just it wasn't really impactful. Um and then at that point it was basically too late because K G, Ray and Pierce, they was getting up there in age. So and then Rondo he did take a jump as a leader. He did take a jump as a leader, but then him and Ray Allen got into it. It was just a bunch it was just a lot that went down in Rondo career with the Celtics. Then after his ACL turn he definitely lost some athleticism. He was still a good passer. And then he, his jump shot really wasn't developed at all. It was still inconsistent throughout his whole career. But Rondo, in, in his peak, was still a good good to great player. He was probably like a top five point guard in the league. Now, let's get into the man who I also think during this time was a top five point guard in the league, and Tony Parker. Now, Tony Parker is a good scorer. And folks give him credit for it. Now, he would leverage the defense going under his screen by finding more opportunities for himself. Uh, he wasn't the passer Rondo was, but he was definitely a way better self creator for himself. He could create for the mid range. Then he, he was so like twitchy quick. He can get into the lanes with the best of them. Matter of fact, he was the main ones 
of a guard being a great driving fish at the room. Like, we see examples like John Rent, Shea Gilders, Alexander, guys like them. Tony Parker was the foundation. Like, he was getting to the real against one of the, like, the premier defenders in the league, right? And um, 2007, he was, he won finals MVP, deservedly so, because he was just carving up the Cavs defense. They have no answer for him. Um, then 2013, he, he, he you can make an argument he could have won then, but the Spurs ultimately choked. And, um, yeah, they lost to the Heat. And then 2014, when they actually won, Kawhi Leonard won Finals MVP, but you can make the argument Tony Parker could won another Finals MVP. And, and Tony Parker don't get credit for this, but he was able to extend the run of the Spurs. Like, that run should have ended, like, two or three years before it actually did. That's how, that's how good Tony Parker was. That definitely helped him age. His, his game definitely aged better than Rondo's did. Put it like that. And peak for peak, I'll probably say I'll take Tony Parker peak over Rondo. Just because Rondo three-point shoot definitely hurt the team. His like love, lack of scoring definitely hurt the team. His, like, yeah, his passing is great. Don't get it twisted. His passing is great. But it just wasn't enough for the uh, Celtics run to get extended. They made, like, uh, what's the conference finals? After the 2010 run, at the 2008 and 2010, but uh, it was, like, uh, the big three heat. Um, yeah, it was just so much they could do around that time. And then after the ACL tear, you could tell he lost some juice. He had to become more perimeter oriented and it just wasn't efficient that's why he had to hop from team to team allegedly he got into it coaching all that I, I don't know about all that but if we talk about his game it definitely didn't age well as Tony Parker now Tony Parker like as a teammate I don't know I like multiple players that say he's a bad teammate but as a player though as an individual player he definitely was a better point guard or was a better player as a whole than Rajon Rondo. And that's no disrespect to Rajon Rondo because he's a champion. He's a two-time champion. And I believe that like Tony Park is like a, what, three or four-time champion. So, not the hate on there. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy, Trail, and I'm out. Let me know what videos you want next.